the PTL Television Network presents Jim Baker. For many years, Jim and Tammy have been welcomed into the homes of millions of people. Now it's a turnabout, and every one of you are welcome into Jim and Tammy's lovely home on beautiful Lake Wiley, located near Charlotte, North Carolina. And now with many of our friends, here they are in their living room, Jim and Tammy. Hello, welcome back to our home. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you, Tammy oh, Faye. Nice to see you, Jim. <laughs> oh, I'm sure glad you could come to my house. Oh, thank you. I'm glad Howard to be and Vestal Goodman oh, here with us today. Oh, it's good to be at your house. Oh, it's nice to be here. These are the tradition in gospel. These folks, when you hear their name, Howard and Vestal mean gospel music. Yeah. Oh, and we lack every mm. note of it. Uh, <laughs> and they're going to do some music today. I want to tell you. The best stuff I've ever heard them do. Ah. You're not getting, what did they say? You're not getting older, you're getting, getting better. Better. Whoa. Yeah. Better. I better. love that. That's and the way it'll fact, be. They have gotten, you, Tammy, you haven't heard this yet, but they've got a brand new record out. I love that cover. That's darling. And it is a fantastic record. If you want to get out of the blues, buy this record. Okay? There's a plug for you. How's Thank that? Thank you, right. darling. That's good. Yeah. But the exciting thing about this record is one of the songs has been banned. Oh, no. Yes, at a radio station oh, has no. banned one of the songs on. Can you imagine yeah. the Goodmans being banned in Boston? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I, that, oh, you know, I think I'm always in the middle of controversy, and I'm so thrilled when these <laughs> these conservative people. I mean, you you know, That's I mean, beautiful. they originated the Holy Rollers. I mean, they are the Holy I Rollers. Mean, you know, I mean, listen, there. some of the bloodiest nose I ever got when I was a kid in school was because they called me a Holy Roller. That's right. And I proved That's to them right. I was. I punched their nose. And I but mean, they say, I've been one all my life. <laughs> and then to get a song. And then to get banned. I mean, of all the people that have a record banned, I I just love it. I tell you, forgive me for getting gleeful oh, over that, it. but it's going to be their biggest <laughs> hit. I think it's going to be their biggest hit they've ever had. It's a super, super song. In oh, fact, Tammy's going to, it's the song I want you to do. Oh. That's been yeah. banned. So listen, oh, you really? got to It's my That's favorite song. Too? Yeah, yeah I, is. I exercise fabulous. every morning to that song. <laughs> it's my, I, you know, I've lost seven pounds with this song already. Oh, I hope it'll yeah. work for me. It'll work for you. <laughs> it'll work. Jesus. You got to every morning. Boy. You got to. But I, I, you got to get one of my little trampolines. Okay. They're a little round thing, yeah. oh, and yeah. you just you just put your record on, and you jump. march. On the trampoline. <laughs> yeah. You march. Yeah. Uh -huh. jump. Yeah. Well, you, you march on. Jump. Oh, you don't put the record on the trampoline. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that's what the radio station did. Oh, I yeah. see. And jumped on it. Uh -huh. You know. But <laughs> I can't wait to hear this song, Jim. Now you've got me all curious. Yeah, this is. Yeah. I'm gonna figure out how I can get one that's. And banned. we have with us uh, uh, a young man. Just off the boat from Greece, Dino. <laughs> Hi, Dino. Kaisenak is here with us in the, in the home. Come on in, Dino, and sit down here. There's a spot on the fireplace just for you. What? You got your shoes off. Yeah, he needs a microphone. Oh, you need a mic. You don't realize that, do you? I, I feel that the Greeks could uh, communicate without mics. <laughs> hey, I've got a gift here. I want to be the first. You will be the first. And I want you to notice the wrapping on this. I noticed. I did it oh my God. <laughs> Dear. I did it myself. Dean, really? Cut a piece of my shirt this is for the bowl. Oh, look at this. Now look at this wrapping. There people. it is. You there, hold let this. me hold this. Okay. Can I open it right Absolute. now? Oh, that's why I gave it to you now. Oh, okay. That that is for class. Jim and Tammy. That's a, a class wrapping. Yeah. That doesn't look like the Dino style of wrapping. I don't understand. Well, it. you know, we have to go to extremes sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you like it. Is it a turkey? I or think it's a your ham? size. I don't know. It's probably a ham. Check it out. Hurry, Tammy. Hurry up. All right, this is only an hour program. Oh, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Straight oh, from Greece. It really is beautiful. Here, thank Henry, you. take care of the paper. Straight from Greece. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Is it from I Greece, was in Greece. Really? Yeah, I was in Greece two months ago and bought on, on the oh, island of Crete. Crete. That will go mm. fantastic in my home. I'll tell you what. Thing. I think it will. Howard and Vesto, get over there by the piano. Yeah. And I'll take, and, and what we'll do is uh, I'll, uh, I'll set this on the piano so we get to see oh, it all day long. Oh, that's beautiful. And, uh, Dino, it's yeah, perfect, you know? yeah. that's great. Boy, that's beautiful. Thank you. And, uh, Howard and Vestal are going to sing this song, and uh, would you put that on the piano for me, Vestal? Just set it right there on that edge. All right, here's the song right now, <laughs> the, the song that was banned. Then will they tell us why it was banned? It was banned? Or will we know it automatically? Was, I'll tell you, everybody guess why it was banned, okay? Okay. 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 But I wouldn't ban it. It's my favorite. It's, I, I think it's the song 
of this hour. I believe yes. God is saying, I want to bless my people again. I yeah. believe the winds of revival and blessing are beginning to blow again. The winds are definitely blowing in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do have a lot. We have the door open here and it feels good, doesn't yeah, it? It just hit true. me in the mouth of the mic. <laughs> right is that right? That's true. God intends to bless his people yeah. again. Yes. Right. And, yes. That's what it and the down. name of this song is Nothing Less Than Blessed. Mm. Nothing less than blessed. It. It's great. Howard and Vestal Goodman at their best. right now blessings are looking for a residence someone take them in right now where God is dwelling God lives there too I found nothing less than wonderfully blessed when I put it to the test nothing less than blessed that's what everybody ought to say. Yes. We ought to say, God, I'm not going to take nothing less than your best, and I'm going to be blessed. Oh. Amen? Amen? Oh, Tammy, I want you to go over with the Goodmans All and right. sing their song and your song, the big song that Tammy's been singing, which is on uh, our new record, the PTL Musical Family record that we're sending out to everyone who's becoming a partner with us or giving a special gift to PTL at this time, and ask for the record, the PTL Musical Family. And the song is He Keeps Lifting. And uh, your son wrote this one, didn't he? His first one. I Rick, don't believe it. He never wrote in his life. Rick, I don't believe yes. it. The very Rick first wrote song. this song, uh -huh. 
and it's a magnificent, it's a, it's really a hit is. song. And, he, and you can uh, write for me any day, Rick. <laughs> and Tammy, I wanted to know, the song title is He Keeps Lifting. Me because, higher. No, it's He Keeps Lifting. <laughs> he Keeps Lifting. And I see it, it's on me their higher. new record. And <laughs> he's going to change it for me. It says right on the back, He Keeps Lifting. Yeah. And it's Rick on the says back he's going to change it for me and put Me Higher. <laughs> me Higher. <laughs> I always said it sounds like she's an Indian. Me Higher. <laughs> me Higher. Me higher. <laughs> and uh, me higher. and uh, this is the Goodman's. We're going to use the Goodman's. Uh, that, um, music. Orchestra. music, the Goodman Orchestra, and Tammy's going to sing it with the Goodman. Yeah. So I just want everybody to understand that. I've never sung with the Goodmans before, so this is, you, boy, this is an exciting time for me. And they haven't rehearsed it either. They, ran, the one, they land one bar out in time, so that's in my key. And so yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is not only a first on television, uh, this is a first period. <laughs> this is the first time they've ever sung it together, so and I hope it'll step. work. Oh, that's all right. But uh, it is a great song. Could could I could I read the scripture yes. before you sing it? Oh, yes. You all you all stay in the spirit over there while I read this. For, this is from Second Corinthians chapter four, and this is what we've been trying to teach for the last couple of weeks here on PTL, and it's Second uh, Corinthians chapter four, verse. Uh, oh, let's say verse eight. We are troubled on every side, yeah. yet not distressed. Oh, yeah. Now, people say, boy, I'm having trouble. But the Lord says, you can go through that trouble, but you're not down, you're not out. Listen to the word of God. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. All right. See, there is a difference. Yeah. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Hallelujah! Oh, I could get excited over this. You people, you all just don't get excited then. I tell you, it's hard when you don't have a big crowd to say amen. Say amen, amen Dino. Amen, say amen. amen. Listen to this. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Now, some of you folks feel like, boy, they, someone's been against you. You've gone through a hardship. You've gone through a valley. But God says, I have not forsaken you. Cast down, but not destroyed always bearing about in my body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifested in our body. Verse 15, let's read a little more. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God, for which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Oh, people, you may look around and see the uh, problems of life, the problems of society, the problems of, of uh, increased... Uh, uh, you know, inflation and all the world problems. The Bible says we're not to look at those things, but we're looked at the things that are not seen. How we do it? By faith. We read the word. We see what God has prepared for. And we're not down. No, no we're not out. No. Praise God. He said we are troubled yet on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Hallelujah. God's going to lift you up today. Higher than ever before. Yeah. All right, here we have the the Vestal and Howard and Tammy Faye trio right now. <laughs> he keeps lifting me. I was facing decisions with answers unknown. A valley with no end inside But I stepped out in faith believing That I soon would be receiving What he promised to make up my life
troubled on every hand, yet not distressed, perplexed, but not in despair. Sometimes persecuted, but never forsaken. So get ready to sing another one. You can sit down and rest just a second there. But that is good. And you never sang that together before. I think that was wonderful. I loved it. Oh, what fun singing with the Goodmans, Jim. Now, I never thought when I was a little girl that I'd ever have a chance to sing with the Goodmans. This is a happy day in my life. Love you guys. You know, uh, Dino leaned over while you all were singing that, and he said, you know, I need that song right now. You know? And, and I said, we all do. You know? I don't know anyone who's not been going through a time of either change, a time of turmoil, even hurts and despair or disappointments, you know. I've been mean, going through some problems. And I believe God's saying, I want to lift you up. I want to bless you again. I want, you know, and God, you know, best is blessed. And I believe God wants to bless His people anew. I believe that the, the, I really believe, you know, the Bible talks about the wind, you know, the Holy Spirit, like a mighty rush. And I believe there is a wind beginning to blow of a new dimension of the Spirit of God. I believe people are hungry for God. And I'm here right now to encourage you. That's why God's called Tammy. We put the cameras in our home. You know, you don't know what it takes to put cameras in your home. <laughs> and, and, and we felt that we had something that that we had to say to you. You know, we had planned to take a vacation this time of the year. But instead of taking a vacation, and we were going to renovate the studios and take a vacation and put some reruns on the air, and we said, no, we just can't do that. We felt we had to minister to you, that we had something that God wanted us to say. 
And this portion of Scripture yes. is so very, very important. And I want to read it one more time. This is for you today. This is for you. This is your inspiration for today to lift you up. It says, yes, we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. You are not destroyed. The devil cannot destroy you. The devil could not destroy Job. God would not let the devil destroy Job. And Job came out in victory. Why? Because he stayed faithful to God. Mm -hmm. God blessed Job because God or, or Job would not curse God. He, the Bible says he did not curse God with his lips. He would not do it. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifested in our body. Now, this is so important, people, because we'll look at circumstances and we'll let them drag us down until we're in total despair. But he said, for all things are for your sakes. Isn't that great? Yeah. He made all things for you. He did not make them for the devil. People, I was quoted in a magazine as saying something. I don't know if I said it or not, but I, I'll quote myself now because I don't think I said it, but I may have said it. So if I said it, I'll quote myself back again. But I it was supposedly said that I said diamonds are for God's people, not just the devil's crowd. Well, according to this scripture, all things are for your sakes. God made everything, the oil in the ground, the trees, the beautiful lakes, all of it, God made all things for your sakes, that the abundant grace might, through the thanksgiving of many, redound to the glory of God. Woo! Yeah. We're to give God glory for all these mighty things He's given us. I think we've got to start enjoying God again. Yes. Yeah. I really do. I think we need to say, Lord, look at this beautiful lake out here. I look out this window here, and I see that blue sky today, and I see the beautiful water, and I say, Lord, you made that lake for me to enjoy. Yeah. Jim, can I tell you a little Preach miracle? A little oh, I just want to tell you a little people a little miracle about what happened with this house. We shouldn't have this house. That is really the honest truth, because in all, in all human, uh, when you think of it in the human pro aspect, it was impossible for us to ever get this home at all. And I had prayed and I had said, now, Lord, you know, Jim and I had to, we had to have a new home. We need to be out of our old one and within like three weeks. And it was yeah. just, just didn't know what to do. We were just, and I said, oh, God, you know, I said, I couldn't figure out if I wanted a swimming pool or a lake. But I knew we'd never had either. And I wanted one, please, Lord. <laughs> So I said, well, Lord, I don't know what to ask we for. We needed so water. You, yeah, so I said, you give us what will make us happy. I knew we couldn't swim in the pool, you know, in the, in the winter. And yet I, I knew we could see the lake all year round. So I couldn't make up my mind. And you know what God did? He said, I want you to have both of them. And he gave us a beautiful pool out there plus the lake out back too, Jim. Isn't that just like the Lord? And you know what's even greater? When we get to heaven, this is all wonderful down here. But when we get to heaven, speaking of God being first class, I mean, streets of gold, I've been reading Revelations lately, and the description, and the diamonds, and the sapphires, oh, and, and you know, each pearl. gate, there are going to be 12 gates up there, each gate is one huge pearl. Oh. Imagine wearing that on your fingers, ladies, <laughs> you know, oh. I mean, that'd be fantastic. And my piano is going to be di diamond studded. Oh. Really? Why not, you really? know? And that's what's so, that's, those that are walking in the faith right and now Dino, have something to And Dino, I'm going to play to. David's harp. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I already told the Lord I'm going to play David's harp, and when you get your diamond-studded <laughs> piano in heaven, I'll take David's harp and, and you and me. Okay. And, oh. and Vestal, you know, yeah. I also read what, what the song is going to be. There's going to be a new song when we get to heaven, mm -hmm. and I've got the scoop on the new song. I oh, know right. it's, it's in Revelations 5, 11. Okay. Worthy is the Lamb oh, that was slain the is the Lamb. to receive honor yeah. and power and glory. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm sure people watching and saying, boy, you people are really dreaming big today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we're not, we're not dreaming. This is reality. We're standing on the Word of God. And, and in this portion of Scripture, he says, For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. Mm -hmm. and, and he wants us to look and see heaven, and see what we have belief for, and what we have faith for. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. And when we talk about heaven, it lasts forever, and ever, and ever. And Tammy talking about the miracle of our home, I think we shared on one of the first broadcasts, 
uh, we needed a home in three days, in three weeks. Three weeks. The people, this house was not for sale. This house was not for sale. And uh, we came looking in this neighborhood and the salesman got on the telephone and he called somebody, the owner of this house. And it must have been that the owner of the house had said something to him, perhaps if you ever got a, uh, someone who was really interested in buying the house, we might sell it or something. But the house was not up for sale. No. So they brought us over here and the minute we came oh. down to the hill, we said, it was, it's, this is the craziest looking house you ever saw. <laughs> it, they call it Polynesian or, or Asian or something style. It's a little mixture, I think, of everything. And, and, and it's the strangest looking house, but I fell in love because it was different. I said, that's what we need. And it was sitting here on the lake and a doctor owned the house. And I believe in putting out impossible fleeces before God. And I said, Lord, if you want us to have the house, have the doctor agree to be out in three weeks. Now, the doctor had a, had, had a lot of children, too. Yes. So, I mean, you know. And, and he had to ask his wife yeah. about that, too. You know, and that's an impossible thing. And he said, well, we'll talk it over. You know, I mean, no, no woman wants to move out of her house no. in three weeks, no. a, a house like this, and this size. Blame her. And they agreed, and they moved into a home, another house temporarily, and up, up the hill from us, and then bought themselves their home they're living in now, just down the street from us, and they moved down, they moved two times. So we could, so we could get once. into this home, because we would have been out in the street, I mean, we, our furniture, I mean, because we had sold the house, and, and I was so busy, I didn't realize the dates were getting by, and we woke up one day and said, hey, we, we've got to find another house. <laughs> and, and our house was sold. And the, the house was, was the, 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 the money that needed to go down on the house, a, a big portion of the, the, of the house actually, came from the other home, which was donated to us by some dear friends. And, uh, and then the church, of course, owns this house. And our local church pays for this home. So if you hear anybody say, well, Jim and Tammy... Uh, live in a nice house, which a lot of people say this isn't a nice house, but a lot of people think it's a nice house, and it depends on your opinion. It's a wonderful house. Some people like and you guys deserve it. colonial, early yeah. American, I mean, some really, like, right. you know, I mean, the different you know, kinds of style, but we love it because it's us, and we've been able to remodel it, we've torn it apart, we've painted on it, we, I even, I, that room you're down in there, Howard Vest, I, I helped paper that room. I used to do all my wallpapering, but I papered the bottom part this time, and, uh, we just are so thankful to God. And I always have to mention this because people don't understand. But Tammy and I do not receive any income from television. The gifts you send in by television, Tammy and I do not get one penny of that money. Our home, our cars, our income is supported by the church that I pastor here at Heritage Village. And this local congregation takes care of Tammy and I and we appreciate them yeah. doing that because for years people say, oh, you're only in television for the money. And it's so wonderful now that when people come and say, oh, you're only in television for the money. You know, our friends and our staff can say, Jim and Tammy don't get a penny. This is a nonprofit organization. And uh, when we die, our children don't inherit a penny of PTL. It all has to stay with the ministry and in the work of the Lord. And so... Uh, we're blessed. Yeah. We are blessed. Jim, isn't it nice that after, because I know you work, the hours you put in, because I've spent a couple days here. This guy's <laughs> constantly in the office, you know, because he's working so hard. But to come home to a, come to, come home to a place like this, I think is so nice to be able to relax. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, it's the, you, you the, I think it. I understand more why Jesus spent time around the lake oh, after my. being on the lake here. There's just something so peaceful to be able to sit here and look out at the water. And Jim, when, when I get all frustrated, and, and you know, as women do, and <laughs> we all know that, I'll just go out and sit on the dock and I'll just rock. You know, just sit out there on the dock and it just rocks up and down and I can talk to the Lord. And it just, it just has a calming effect that nothing else has, you know. So a miracle can happen for you. Just like, you know, these, these things take, you know, unbelievable circumstances. And you say, well, but Jim, you, it's because you're Jim and Tammy on television. No, no, no. no. One of our, no. One of our uh, men that's probably right around here right now, God just gave them, they're building their own home. It, you know, they were told an acre was going to cost $18,000. That didn't stop them. They said, well, well, we don't have that kind of money, but we're going to believe they found They found some land that cost $1,300 an acre. And then the lady that sold them the land financed it for them. She wanted 10% financing. She ended up at 2%. Oh and they built their own house and it's paid for with their own hands. And, and 
because they say we can do it. We can do it. With God's help, we can do it. And that's what I want to say to you today. If you'll get into the positive side of life and begin to stand on the Word of God, don't look at these circumstances. It, it says here in the Word, don't look at the things you can see with your eyes. Look at the things you can't see with your eyes. Look in faith. And He's going to lift you up higher than you've ever been before. Praise God. Well, Howard and Vest are going to do another song for us, right? We'll soon be done. Oh, Is this that old one? That's the old one. The old one uh, in a new way with Howard and Vestal yeah. from their new record, Newborn Feeling. Yeah. Hit it, gang. All right. We are ready. Okay, we're ready to it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of these days I'm going. When I was a young girl at home, we were still going to Bible camp. Our girls' quartet, we, we won a big talent audition with that, with me singing bass. Gonna sit down and rest a little while. Really? Is that the oh. voice? <laughs> you, guys, you guys are sounding better than I've ever heard you. Oh. You are the greatest. Yes, you are, you are the greatest. Oh. You're wearing the piano I'm gonna have in heaven right there. Oh, really? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> gold piano. She's wearing it. Oh. Uh, Tammy, okay. do you yes. know who wrote the song? I sure don't. You remember the old song, uh, Just a Little Talk with Jesus yes. Makes yeah. It Right? Yes, yes. Do you ever hear when God dips his pen yes. of love in my heart? Yes, yes. Cleve Aunt Derrick. Yeah. An old black man that's oh. done gone on to be with the Lord. He wrote oh. that, we'll soon be done. Oh, listen, he knew what he was talking about, didn't he? Yes, he did. And I think it's yes. going to be so wonderful someday to be able to sit down and rest a little while. I told somebody, I said, uh, I feel like I could get in a, a room somewhere and just sleep for a hundred years. I'm so tired. And so yeah, but you know what you'll do, Tammy? You'll do the same thing I'm going to do. The minute our feet touch heaven's yes. soil, honey, yeah. 
Hey, sure not going to be We're resting, is it, Gaston? Yeah. You can get hyper then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, they say... Hey, you'll be in your new body, though, that's so you'll it. be tired. Right. Well, see, they say that Tammy uh, said, I, I, I hear comments on you, you know, on yeah. the road and all across the country. So I bet you that did. little old Tammy <laughs> really turns on. And I said, honey, because she is alive. Yeah, There's yes. nothing about her dead. She's alive. <laughs> she knows why she's living. And, and honey, we turn on. But when we oh. get a new body and our feet Woo. touch heaven, so we're going to turn on. Eddie's stopping us, will they, Vest? No, sir. <laughs> and people get the wrong impression. They think we're going to go to heaven and sit around and eat grapes all day. Yeah. No. You know? And we Greeks no, like that's, grapes. That's Greece. Yeah. You do that. But when Greece. I get to heaven, that's right, Greece. <laughs> but when I get to heaven, I'm going to play like I've never played uh, before. Yeah. I'm going to glissando all over the place. Now, <laughs> we, we, listen, we got a piano here, Dino, and it's oh, not a concert. Here. Yeah, it's not a concert. <laughs> it's not a concert, Grant. It's, it's our well, little, okay. it's our but, little but home piano. But your boss is on it, Dean, so. That'll play. make you really play. I, I don't know. I play anything. Song, so. Play whatever you, you feel like playing. All right. I'll just. I'll it. hold it. <laughs> we, what we've done here at the house is we've asked everybody kind of really to come and just be yeah, themselves and do what they want to do. And, and, well, I, feel and like I mean, Dino's hot. rolling up his sleeves. Now, You're this really is going to be a great one. I feel right at home. I'm ready to go to bed, tell you the truth. <laughs> I really feel embarrassed giving you this, too, huh? this piano because I know it's not it's what you're used to. Let me just play whatever comes to mind, you know. Christmas tree. I mean, I'll do a little Christmas, even if, if this plays sure. after Christmas. Sure, it'll be all right. A lot of towns are it's Christmas, okay. a lot of times it's a few days after. I get more requests for some of the older hymns of the church, no matter where I go. Yeah. And I may include okay. one or two of those. Okay, okay. okay. All right, Jim, all right. I got to tell you a quick story. When, I, when, Anytime Dino was coming, he asked the piano to be tuned. Yeah. Well, our regular tuner was away, and we had to call a guy out of the Yellow Pages, and his name was Mr. Offer Nockerty. Uh, and so, Mr. Offer Nockerty. Mr. Offer Nockerty. So he came, out, he came out and tuned the piano. Well, when Dino came in and checked it out this morning, he said, it's not right. Get that piano tuner back. Well, I called the guy. Will you come back and tune it again? He said, absolutely not. Don't you know that Opera Nockerty only tunes once? Oh! Oh! Oh, oh Henry! Yeah, Henry. <laughs> and if you believe that story, Uncle well, Henry will tell you another yeah, one. It is a bit out of tune. <laughs> it, uh... It doesn't stay in tune real good. We moved it about a bit, and we did tune it before the programs started. But uh, Dino's a, a real trooper when it comes to playing. He has played, he told me one time he played a piano, I think only half the keys worked. <laughs> and, he, and, he had to, and he had to play around them to try to figure out which ones would work. So you go to churches, sometimes they don't give God the best. <laughs> okay, here's Dino.
something rattling in the piano. One of the one of Jamie's friends was visiting yesterday and dropped something down in the piano. We never could find it, but I can hear it. It vibrated when you were playing there. Could you notice that? It's, I think it's a little piece of jewelry. Maybe you can find it. You know, maybe while you're here, Howard could give you some additional piano lessons. Yes. <laughs> you know, that'd be great. Yeah, you know. And, uh, you know, be, be. Come on, Vestal, I'm going to take this mic off. Okay. Vestal's on next. Come on. Okay. you got to sing us a, a solo. I want to tell you, the first time I saw this lady on stage, it was down in Greenville, South Carolina, at an all-night sing. When she walked, she had a blue gown, I remember it, mm -hmm. a long blue gown. And when she stepped out on that stage in that spotlight, I knew she was a star. Dynamite. <laughs> she was... Uh, uh, she just stopped the program. I watched the crowd. There is something electric when Vestal Goodman goes on stage. It's like when E.F. Hutton talks, everybody listens. <laughs> and when Vestal Goodman sings, everybody listens. Ah. And she's got a brand new song. I don't think she's ever sung it on television no. before. I think it's brand new. Just came off the press. <laughs> and who I? Rick. Rick wrote it. Rick wrote it? Rick wrote it. Well, yeah. what is God doing to Rick? <laughs> Of I'm gonna get Vuk, right. Vic, uh, Rick, uh, Vic, <laughs> going on, get Rick on the next program or something. You're all gonna stay over to tomorrow, so we're gonna have tomorrow's program tomorrow with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, we're gonna sing tomorrow, and uh, and uh, we ought to have Rick on. And uh, th this is a great new song, and uh, it's called "Blow Ye the Trumpet," mm. yeah. and uh, written by her baby boy. Ah. Here's Vestal Goodman. <laughs>
tremendous. Done it again. Come on back. I understand. Is that going to be on your new record in yes. Word that you're doing? That's I, I hear. A new no. word record. I got rumored yeah. that you were going to do a Word Word record. Let me pin you here. Is that all right? Uh -huh. And uh, I, when will that new record be out? Oh, uh, first about of the year. Three, yeah. January. After the first of the year. Ah. Uh -huh. That'll be on a new record. Yeah. That ought to be the. Uh, Praise the. That ought to be the. Hit, the title? The title song of that record. That's a hit. Yes. That's a hit. It you really know, is. You know where that came from? That came from the book of Joel. Yeah. Your son is writing these yeah. well, songs out of the Word of God. Uh huh. Yeah. He's been spinning all the Those are the time. best songs. There's power yes, it in it. See, there's yes. power yes. There's when you message. sing the words. Mm -hmm. blow that trumpet. Yeah. Sound an alarm. Sound. Tell the people that oh. it's time for the Lord's returning. Yes. Yes. And I love that first verse, Vestal, where he said, you know, that all the things of the earth are kind of, don't mean anything anymore, you know. The things I see around me yeah. are not yeah. the same. Yeah. Seems I have no interest in earthly yeah. things. Yes. Yes. I feel the wind begin to change. Ooh. And it's what you said a few minutes ago. Yeah. God's people are realizing that the, uh, that the Spirit of the Lord is blowing. Yes. 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 And yes. God is going to pour His Spirit out again. Well, Joel don't said you think he was. we went through uh, the last 10 years of a materialistic yes. Christianity? Mm -hmm. I do. And, it, and, and people, and God has blessed His people. Uh -huh. In faith, they have believed, and, and yes. many of them have blessed materialism. And it's, it has left them hollow and empty. Uh -huh. They said, this is not it. This uh -huh. is not satisfying. Uh -huh. But I have never seen a time, and you have, I know, uh, Christians from everywhere, have never seen a time there are no church walls, mm -hmm. no barriers, they're broken down, and all the children of God, Christians, just want to know what the Word mm -hmm. says. They're believing it, yeah. they're accepting yeah. it, yeah. and God is pouring His Spirit out. Yeah. The Bible speaks yeah. of the former and the latter rain and I think we're beginning to taste what's known yeah. as that latter rain and there's yeah. a little song that goes this is that Joel is promised chapter 2 and 28 yep. this is that he was promised for the hungry that would wait this is that hallelujah this yeah. is that praise <laughs> the Lord uh -huh. this is that uh, well anyway this is that uh -huh. Well, you, have you noticed how here lately, well, you, we won't notice it as much as we do because wherever we are in the country, I turn PTL on and watch you, but you can't realize surely, and Howard and I will in a hotel room, we, for the last 30 days we've lived in a hotel room, and we just, uh, just break up laughing and said, listen to that boy preach. You're preaching, and what's happening is you're, you, yeah, both of you, what you're doing is you start to tell a story, but you wind up bringing it back to the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you're bringing it down to the now, but you're bringing it out of the word. And that's what's happening is because God is bringing the last yes. time and you're blowing a trumpet yes. for the last time. We're blowing the trumpet. Yes. Amen. There's no other foundation that's solid but the no. word of God. That's, that's it. it. And I've gone through everything, people. Uh -huh. Believe me. I've seen all the cycles. I, uh, I've been preaching 20 years. And, uh, you know, people say, boy, you're just a kid. Well, I feel like an old kid then. I've been around 20 years preaching, you know. And that may not mean that I'm old, but, but it means that, that I've had 20 years of preaching. But I have friends uh -huh. who are a lot older than I am, and I talk to them. And, and PTL is kind of like a, 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 a smorgasbord of Christianity. They come through here, and I meet them all. Yeah. And they're all saying the same thing. Yeah. We are tr we're tired of... Yep. the things of the world. We, we don't want that. We've got to have something that we can base our life on. We need the Word. We need the rock. And you know what? You, you and Tammy were talking a while ago how you enjoy being out on the lake. A few years ago, you wouldn't have wanted on the lake where you could mm -hmm. go and walk on the lake. Yeah. You would want an elaborate yeah. home yeah. Yeah. somewhere in such a beautiful yeah. section because that was the end. But you know, now they don't matter. Right, and that's right. why I tell, uh, you're, the, listen, Christian television is the greatest thing that's happened. And it's for the end time. Yeah. And that's why PTL has, yeah. and, and Christian television here, that's why it has so expanded is because the people that are watching are supporting Christian TV because they don't care either. Yeah. They got no interest in earthly things. And they are aware that every soul that you win through Christian television, they're a part of the reward. That's it. And that is, that was Dino walking. Just came across there. There was a big red thing oh, went across really? the screen. Okay. I just want to explain that. <laughs> you were going to say something, I think. Well, yeah, I was going to say, you know, I was in Pittsburgh two days. And we, we don't touch reality because we're on stage a lot and uh -huh. churches and so on. But I walked those streets yeah. one afternoon in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And you don't know the people that approached me. 
there was this young man especially that said, Dean, I've seen you on television, on PTL. He says, I'm hurting. I need help. Would you help me? I'm here in Pittsburgh. My family's in New York City. So please, just yeah. screaming out for help. And in the middle of all this traffic in downtown Pittsburgh, I stopped with him and I said, let's pray. You have to accept Christ in your life. He was only about 35 years old. And I said, you have a life ahead of you. But there are people out there that are literally screaming for help. And it's up to us to get out there and meet. And this is what PTL is doing. This is what you guys are doing with your television program. You know, it just goes on and on. And TV is the media. Yeah, and Jim, I just think of Amy Cortese sitting there yesterday. And she was saying people get so tired in the world, you know, of hearing that Jesus is the answer. But she looked right at that camera and she said, but Jesus is the answer. Oh, and yeah, she's, yeah. she's yeah. a lot older than we yeah. are. And she said, Jesus is the answer. And Jesus, he, yeah. she said, he's the answer to our financial problems. He's the answer to our mental problems. He's the answer to our health problems. I mean, there's nothing that he is not the right. answer to. That's right. That's right. And so to the young and to the old and to the little children, he is the answer. That's right. He is, yeah. he is the only answer. Absolutely. The only answer is Jesus Christ. Right. And He loves you today. We'd like to pray for you today. Thank I you. believe God wants to lift you up. Yes. Every one of you. You may have been messed up in anything. I don't care what it is, people. Crazy. Nothing's too hard for God. Yeah. Listen, we're only sinners saved by grace. And I want to tell you something. I, I, I appreciate the preachers and the ministers and the, and the dinos and, and the good ones. They really have taken their masks off in the last few years. I don't know why. It just seemed like Christianity for so long was almost like performers on a stage. And we fail God. We make mistakes. We're sure not perfect. But I'm so thankful to be able to tell you we have a God whose mercy and grace covers. And I'm so thankful that the Bible talked about, as we talked the other day, about the love that covers a multitude of sin. That He is a forgiving God. That His desire is to save you and to reclaim you and to bring you back or to build you on a solid foundation. We want to pray for you right now. Jesus is coming soon. That, that's the reason. And I, I, I really believe that, that this hour is the greatest hour of the church. Yes. But the Bible warns us people that unless these days be shortened, that if it be possible, that even the very elect be deceived. It's very important that we stay close to God. Jim, I'm, you know, we're finding that a lot of our, our, our very famous ministers are having crises in their lives yes. like never, yes. ever before. Yes. And I can see. I used to think, well, how can it be possible that, that the very elect will be deceived? But I can see how easy it can be. That's right. It's, it's, it's just like this scripture says. They're, they're being knocked apart. They're being persecuted. Yep. That's they're they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. We're, they're perplexed. But he says, but he says, I'm not going to forsake you. Yeah. I'm, you'll not be destroyed. Yeah. And, and I believe that it's like it, when you were saying that, Tammy. Just like the Lord gave me an instant vision of a of, of of a carnival, and it was the devil's carnival, and the preachers were going by on on the on like the ducks floating by in the shooting gallery. Mm -hmm. And it was the devil's shooting gallery. Yeah, yeah. And that's what the Lord said. The, the, the Lord said, the devil is trying to shoot down all my people. Yes. Yeah. He's trying to shoot down all my singers, sure. all my musicians, yeah. all of my preachers. And, and we don't have to stand by and let it happen. No, it can't happen. We need to say, no devil. Can't we? Right. No devil. We're not going to let you shoot down our friends. We're not going to let you shoot down our I brothers and sisters. We're going to lift them up. All right. Jesus will lift them higher than they've ever Thank been God. before. Hallelujah. We're going to pray right now. Heavenly Father, Praise the Lord. we today take authority over Thank the works you. of Satan. Yes. For those, Lord, that are discouraged and th those that have been persecuted and those that are distressed, Lord, Hallelujah. minister to them. Restore them today. Restore to fellowship. Lord, help them to know that you love them. 
God, I'm going to preach this message until you tell me to stop because I yes, know you're Lord. trying to tell Bring people it. that you love them, that you've not forsaken them, and that they oh, are yeah. to come back to the Father's table. Oh, God, we agree with one another here for healing, for health, for hope for that troubled soul today. God, for that homosexual, that lesbian, that murderer, that prostitute, that one that's failed, that one that's in self-condemnation. Nothing's too hard for you, God. And we commit everything to you in the name of Jesus. Oh, our time's gone. God loves you. He really does. Don't forget to write me. I do need to hear from you. Bye-bye. Friends, for the very first time, we want to offer you the new PTL Family Devotional Guide. 365 of Jim and Tammy's friends and guests have given testimonies of what Jesus means to them. And you can have this in your home simply by writing and asking for it. And this begins the My Vote campaign to keep PTL alive and strong and coming into your home for the coming year. Also, ask for the PTL Partners Together calendar. This has pictures of various members of the PTL staff in this, and you'll have a prayer partner for every day. Write today, and remember when you request these that your gifts keep PTL on the air. Write today to Jim Baker, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28279. In Canada, the address is Jim Baker, Box 140, Station U, Toronto, Ontario, M8Z5M4. Don't put it off, friends. Write today to my vote and request the devotional guide and the calendar for 1982.